Hello everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Destiny video. This is the very first um, new deck I have built out of Empire at War. It's a villain uh, vehicles deck. So in this deck, we're running Ukar, Scenery, and Night Sister. We're running Ukar at Elite, so we have him at 13 points, uh, 10 health, uh, focus, disrupt, 2 disrupt, resource, plus 2 resource, blank. Um, one reason for running him at Elite is... Um, we'll be able to get a ton of resources with him, hopefully. And also, rolling for the battlefield, he has um, two two sides on his dice. So we're running a single, or a, an elite Ukar, running a single scenery, so nine health for um, eight points. So ra one range, plus two range, disrupt, resource, resource, blank, and as an action, you can spend two resources to ready a vehicle. And we're going to hopefully be using her ability quite a lot um, in um, this deck. And finally, we have one Night Sister. Seven health for eight points. Um, one range, two range, disrupt, discard, resource, and blank. Um, main reason she's in this deck is to use her ability to deal with damage to uh, reroll a die, as well as getting access to blue so I can throw in Vader's TIE Fighter, which we'll get to a little bit later. Um, and our battlefield is Weapons Factory Alpha. So while you control this battlefield, the cost of the first vehicle you play each round is decreased by one. Um, into our upgrades, we're only running one upgrade. I'm running two cunning, so again, two resources, focus, disrupt, discard, resource, special blank, yellow character only, so it can only go on Ukar, and special resolve, a special ability on another card in play as if it were your card. Um, a lot of the vehicles I have have specials, so I'm going to try to be using those specials multiple times with this card. So those are the upgrades. We're going to move into our supports and our events. So first up, we have two Imperial Inspection, zero resources. After one of your dice rolls disrupt, you may exhaust the support to return an upgrade in play that costs two or less to its owner's hand. This deck has a lot of dice that have disrupt sides on it. So um, like Ukar has disrupt, the Night Sister has it, um, and so on. Like a lot of dice in this set, well, in this deck have disrupt. So we're gonna be using Imperial Inspection probably quite effectively. Next up, we have two Salvage Stand. Again, a lot of resource sides on the dice in this deck. So zero resources. After one of your dice rolls a resource, you may exhaust it to force an opponent to lose one resource. We're running two quad jumpers, three resources, um, two focus, one shield, two shields, resource, resource blank. And as an action, you can discard the support from play um, to play a support from your hand, decreasing its cost by three. So we'll be able to get out some of our more expensive um, vehicles with this for um, less or free if they cost three or less. Next up, we have two ATSTs, six resources, uh, kind of expensive, but this deck can definitely generate the resources needed for it. So three range damage, four range damage, five range damage for a resource, two shields, two specials. Uh, special is discard a support from play. We have one ATDP, three resources, Two range, plus two range, three range for a resource, shield, special, blank, and discard a support that costs two or less from play for its special. We have one slave, one, four resources, two range, three range, four range for a resource, resource, special, blank, and special is force an opponent to deal damage to their characters equal to the number of dice in their pool distributed as a wish. Next up, we have one hound's tooth, two resources. Disrupt, shield, three shields for a resource, two resources for a resource, four resources for two resource, uh, blank. And after you activate the support, you may remove one of your yellow character dice to gain a resource. And then we have, finally, Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, one of it. Four resources, two range damage, three range damage, plus three range damage. Two shields, special blank, and the special is spent two resources to deal damage to a character equal to the damage on it. So essentially it doubles the amount of damage on a character. To our events, we're running two flank, one resource, play only if you have more ready characters than an opponent, remove one of that opponent's dice. We have three characters, uh, they roll out first, I can play flank and get rid of one of her dice. Next up is one of the key cards of the deck, which is Imperial Backing. So two resources, uh, it has Ambush, so you're going to take another action after you play it. Play a support from your hand, decreasing its cost by one for each character you have. So uh, if you set it up correctly and you're playing first and you're on your battlefield, if you have Imperial backing in your hand, let's say Slave 1 or Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, pay two resources. They can play a support from your hand. The crazy gets cost by three. You have because you have Ukar, Scenery, and the Night Sister. And then if you're on your battlefield, which is Weapons Factory Alpha, that'll decrease it again. 
Meaning you can get Slave 1 out for Slave 1 or the TIE Fighter out for just two resources, which is the cost to play Imperial Backing. Next up, we have Pin Down, one resource, Spot a Vehicle to Remove a Die. Uh, we have tons of vehicles, so you're going to be able to um, have the spot um, requirement met fairly consistently. So you're going to pay a resource, you, know, you have a vehicle in play, they, um, you remove a die. You have two ruthless tactics, zero resources. Resolve one of your dice, increasing its value by the resource cost showing on it. So, for example, with Houndstooth, we could pay two resources, um, get essentially get six, because you're getting four plus the two that you paid for it from Ruthless Tactics. So essentially you're going to be paying two resources to essentially make six, or make a four resource profit. And with Ukar and his ability to make an insane amount of resources, you should have tons of resources in this deck. You have two Tactical Mastery, so one, re one resource, spot a red character to take up to two additional actions. You have two Bait and Switch, so again, a lot of resource sides in this deck, so be able to, um, has an ambush, you get to take another action. Turn one of your dice to a side, showing a, uh, from a resource to any side. So you can basically focus on the damage or a special or anything like that. Two Electroshock, one resource, spot a yellow character to remove a die showing a value of two or lower. And finally, we have two He Doesn't Like You. Move one of your opponent's dice and remove one of your own. Remove one of your dice and then remove an opponent. We're not running buyout in this deck. Um, I don't know if this deck is going to have enough resources to have the vehicles out and get buyout off. But basically, it's just a um, deck that I can get out, get a good amount of resources to bring these vehicles into play, um, have enough resources to trigger her ability, so spend two to ready a vehicle, and then roll that vehicle in um, again. And then anything that has like a resource cost on it, such as Vader's TIE Fighter, will hopefully have with the amount of resources Ukar generates, we'll probably hopefully have enough resources to spend to trigger the special on this. So special deal doubles the damage on a character, essentially, and you do have to pay two resources to do that. So this is my very first uh, villain vehicle deck. I'm working on a hero vehicle deck as well, featuring Maz, Hera, and a rookie pilot. I'm still trying to tweak that deck and see what I want to put in and what I want to take out. But that's the um, Ukar... Scenery and Night Sister deck, and again we're running on Weapon Factory Alpha. So gonna um, be playing this in a tournament tomorrow. We're gonna see how it goes. Really looking forward to playing it. Um, looks like it could be a fun deck that lets you just get out vehicles quickly and get to activate them multiple times. So that's gonna do it for this video. There'll be um, a deck list in the description. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I want to thank you again for watching and take care.